The Savannah Democratic Socialists of America hosted a silent march today that was sparked by the July 6th shooting of Sonia Massey in Illinois. Her Mackenzie Baker was there to see how community members are reacting in the wake of Massey's death. Anger, frustration, and sadness were some of the emotions these attendees expressed following the death of Sonia Massey. Sonia Massey should still be with us, as well as so many black women and black men in our communities. Massey, a black mother of two, was shot and killed by Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson in Illinois July 6th. The incident was recorded on a body camera, revealing the entire exchange. Divine McMillan, who's also a single mother, says Massey's death shouldn't have happened. As a single female in her home, the police are the one that we turn to to help keep us safe. They're not supposed to be their enemy. And to know that this young lady called out for help and in the midst of any, everything was shot just because he was afraid of a pot, it doesn't make any sense. While Massey was killed several states away, her death has impacted communities across the nation, including here in Savannah. McMillan says it's important for situations like Massey's to never be forgotten, even if they happen somewhere far away. If we turn a blind eye to this, it makes it easier for them to do it again and again and again and get away with it. We're not going to stand for it. Grayson has been charged with first degree murder, aggravated battery with a firearm and official misconduct in Massey's death. He has pled not guilty to the charges and awaits trial while being held in Sangamon County Jail. In Savannah, Mackenzie Baker, WTOC News.